What's going on today, guys? Today, we're talking about suspension. We're talking about the Solo Works coilovers. They are a great coilover and have a great price. So we'll get into the unboxing and I'll give you a rundown about the coilovers. Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and show you what's inside. So we get our instructions, which you wanna make sure you read before you install. You get a couple really cool Solo Works stickers, couple spanner wrenches. We'll go into detail on all this once it's all out of the box, but I'm gonna show you really quick what you see when you open everything up. So in here, we got a full coilover. We have the colors down at the bottom. We got the bump stop. We have the spring, the little isolator, the upper perch, and the helper spring. So it's gonna look like that when you take it out. Comes with some waterproof lubrication, rust and corrosion protection. Very awesome that they include this. I've honestly not seen anybody include this in any coilover I've ever opened. And on this side, this is the side that's open. It is the same as the one we just opened. So I'll go ahead and just set this aside. Open this. And go ahead and well, we'll pull all this stuff off after. I wanted to show you guys kind of what it comes out of the box. And they're labeled L and R, so left and right. All right, and then this is the left side. We'll go ahead and unpackage all this and I'll pull it all together so I can show you what is in all this. All right, so we got them all unboxed. The great thing about these coilovers is they are the best bang for the buck. You can't go wrong with getting this set up. It removes the fender gap, gives you that dynamic feel. And what I mean by dynamic is it's not bouncy, it turns in harder, it corners better. A lot less body roll under aggressive driving, which is excellent. It's daily drivable. They're obviously adjustable. You get one to two inches of height adjustable front and rear. And instead of buying just springs for not a whole lot much more money, you get springs and shocks that are tuned to work together. And some of you are probably thinking, well, why shouldn't I just get springs? Well, there's a couple things you wanna think about. One of them being is how many miles do you have on your car and have you replaced shocks at all since you've gotten the car? Let's say you have 60, 70, 80,000 miles and you never replaced the shocks and you put springs on your car. The likelihood of you wearing those shocks out faster is very high. On most cars, you get 50, 60,000 miles on a set of shocks. So often you'll go in and put your aftermarket springs in the car and you'll find a blown strut. So you'll go and you'll grab the strut, pull it out, and you'll notice that this'll just sag. This'll just start. This'll just go in, it'll get stuck, and it won't rise up. And the reason why I get gives you such a good ride is because you have this helper spring and a spring so you're you, this is going to eliminate that slop in the spring when you have the car as low as it as these uh can go it'll keep tension so that keeps the preload on the strut solo works has been around for a, a good amount of time these coilovers are made by enthusiasts for enthusiasts these aren't just a uh, you know a, a, a random company that makes shocks and struts for everything they make them for specific cars in a specific way so the average enthusiast like you and me can get a set of these throw them on their car and adjust them and, and get rid of that fender gap and still have fun in the corners these are just made and coated very nicely like the blue powder coating on the springs the aluminum top hat caps 
And then you have this gold coating that just makes it stand out and protects it from rusting and going bad. And then you have a really nice urethane bump stop in here. Another thing that's really cool is it comes with the Bow Shield uh, waterproof lubricant. This is something that I never see any companies include. This is something that you really should have. It comes with all the instructions in the box. It is very straightforward and easy to do. Also comes with spanner wrenches. And surprisingly enough, you guys, uh, if you've lowered a lot of cars on coilovers, you'll find out they don't always come with spanner wrenches. So this is a very nice and convenient thing to be included with your coilovers. So I'll give you a little tip. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna prime these. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and push these all the way down. This is a little harder sitting right here. But go ahead and push these all the way down three to five times prior to putting the spring on and installing them. Why? Because it gets all the little air bubbles out, but it's just a tip to help the first ride in the car and all the bumps gets all the air out. Uh, moves all the air through the actual fluid and gets it out of the way from the shipping. SolarWorks also provides a three-year warranty on all this. So that right there is, is worth it in the labor alone over just getting springs so you buy a spring you put it in on your stock strut because you couldn't quite afford these you know it was maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars more or whatever the price difference may be put your your springs in and for the first couple weeks you're like oh my car feels pretty decent you know it's nice it's it's almost as low as i wanted you know you you don't get it exactly where you want it might be a little too low it might be a little bit too high uh but let's say then all of a sudden it just gets bouncy or you notice that one of the struts is starting to leak. So then you have to take it all back out and you gotta order struts. Or let's just say you take it all back out and you decide you wanna get this kit. Then you're out the money for the actual springs. So best bet is buying a kit like this because it, it's gonna, your car is gonna handle considerably better and you're gonna be able to get the car at the ride height that you want. So I obviously don't have all the coilovers over here just because I didn't want to put everything in front of me and there's only so much room. So one thing that is nice is this is notched so you can't, you do have camber adjustment on the, on the front. So that's always great. Also one thing that I do wanna note if you plan on having wide wheels on your car, if you go anything over nine inch, even nine inches is depending on your offset is gonna cause an issue because your actual spring on the car, on a factory car, it's not gonna fit. With these, it gives you a lot more room inside of there. So 9.5, nine inch, 10 inch, um, depending on your offset and your tire size should all fit without any major malfunctions. Another thing to note is these obviously don't come with the actual adjustable top hats, but we do sell some uh, on our website. So go ahead and go over to speedindustry.com and go into the suspension area, you'll find them on there. Um, it's a nice upgrade if you plan on maybe slamming the car going the full two inches and you want to get really wide wheels on there you'll be able to do that that way overall these are going to be your best bet more affordable level of lowering your car so i'm not saying springs are a bad way to go but the price of these versus a set of springs and potentially a stock strut that is maybe gone bad or two or three maybe even four. This is gonna ride considerably better and in the long run, just be the best bet for your car on an affordability level. Also, it is 2019. If you purchase a set of these before December 31st, before midnight, you will get a mail-in rebate. They'll send you a check in the mail for that rebate. So go over and go to speedindustry.com, has all the info on the rebate and how to get it. And yes, these are the coilovers you will find on Tanner Fox's BRZ. So that ends our video for today. Remember, head over to the website, get into the suspension, find these coilovers, and get the special deal while it lasts. 
Also, we do have a giveaway coming up soon. I'll get more into depth on that in the next couple videos. So go ahead and subscribe. Give us a like if you like the content. And again, leave a comment down below. Let us know what suspension you have, what you think of this suspension, and we'll talk more down there. All right, thanks very much and have a good one. Peace. Thank you.